The last prophet in the world, last prophet in the world, last prophet in the world to show how to be closer to Allah. He is Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. After the return of the Makkah victory and the Battle of Hunayn, Prophet Muhammad wasallam started to send Muslims to different places to spread Islam and follow Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's laws. He also ordered all the Muslims to pay zakat and all the non-Muslims to pay tax. Banu Tamim was a tribe who refused to pay their taxes. So, the Prophet sent 50 Muslim soldiers to that tribe. The Muslims arrested around 30 men and women and then brought them to Medina. Then, 10 leaders from that tribe came to the Prophet. They were very good at poetry. So, to make the Muslims seem weak, they wanted a poetry contest against the Muslims. The Prophet accepted their challenge and selected Hassan bin Sabit Radintala to compete with the enemy. The enemy was very impressed after they heard all the logical arguments and beautiful poems from the Muslims and then became Muslims themselves. The Prophet released all of their people and sent them home with gifts. Prophet Muhammad wanted to spread Islam and destroy all the false gods and idols. One time during the third month of the ninth Hijri, the Prophet sent Ali Radintala with 150 soldiers to the famous Hatim Tai from the tribe of Banu Tai to destroy the fields, the idols. At that time, Hatim Tai died and his tribe used to worship idol. The great Ali Radintala destroyed fields, the idol. The Muslims arrested some of the people and brought them back to Medina. Hatim Tai's daughter, Safana, was one of the prisoners. Her brother, Aldi, escaped to Syria. He was very scared to come for his sister. To show respect to the famous Hatim Tai's family, the Prophet later let her go without any condition and gave her a transportation system as a gift. She became very happy with the Prophet's behavior. She then went to her brother in Syria and told him everything about the Prophet and the Muslims' good behavior. She then requested her brother to go to Medina. Her brother Adi went to Medina to meet with the Prophet and became a Muslim. Around that time, one man came to the Prophet with a complaint about a highway robbery. The Prophet told Adi that within a few days, Islam would make Arabia a peaceful and safe place, so there would not be any more robbery and everybody could travel without any fear. After the Makkah victory, the Muslims did not have any big major enemy to fight within the entire Arab land. So, Islam started to spread easily. This made the Roman Emperor very worried. He thought that if Islam kept on spreading, then it might affect the Roman Emperor in the future. He remembered that just one year ago in the Battle of Muta, 200,000 strong Roman army could not destroy only a small 3,000 Muslim army. After that event, Many tribes wanted to get freedom from the Roman Emperor. So, to make their empire seem stronger, the Romans wanted to attack Medina and destroy the new Muslim power. The Syrian ruler who also wanted to destroy the Muslims collected a big army 
and wanted to help the Roman king, Heraclius. King Heraclius happily sent 40,000 soldiers to help that ruler's big army. When the Prophet Muhammad wasallam heard the news about having strong Roman soldiers, he became worried. Because that year, Muslims had a lot of crops and that was harvesting time in Medina. The Muslims were not ready mentally for another battle at that time. So, some of them did not want to go to battle. But the Prophet was worried because if the Romans attacked Medina and destroyed the Muslims, it would be very bad for them. So, the Prophet could not ignore the situation. Finally, he called all the Muslims to get ready to fight with the strong Heraclius' Roman army. Muslims from all areas of the country started to come to Medina to join the Muslims' army. The Prophet usually kept all the battle preparation and movements a secret to confuse the false Muslims and the enemies. But this time, he could not do that because of the big preparation to fight against a very big and strong Roman army. Unfortunately, the Roman was getting support from the fake Muslims or the Munafiq from Medina. The fake Muslims regularly got advice from the Jews against the Muslims. Twelve of those false Muslims built their own mosque as a center of their secret mission to go against Islam. When the Muslims were getting ready, the false Muslims started to tell the Muslims not to fight with that strong Roman army for their own safety. The bad people were trying to make the Muslims' power weak. On the other hand, the Prophet ordered all the Muslims to join the army. For the big army, the Muslims needed a lot of supplies for the journey and lots of weapons for the battle. That's why the Muslims needed a very big amount of funds or money to prepare for the battle. So, the Prophet asked the Muslims to donate generously for the battle funds. Surprisingly, the Muslims started to donate generously in the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. At that time, Usman radin ta'ala was about to go on a business trip. He donated all of his business money to the Prophet. Abu Bakr radin ta'ala donated everything to the Prophet. He gave away all of his money and asset to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his Prophet. Umar ad Tala donated half of his money and assets to the Prophet. Even the very poor Muslims donated as much as they could. Only the false Muslims or the Munafiq didn't give any donations. Have you ever wanted to make a big difference to help children all over the world? We provide everything we create for free and are committed to keeping it that way for millions of Muslims and non-Muslims all over the world. 100% of our operations are crowdfunded from our generous audience. We want to continue our Dawah mission and we can do so with your help. All donations are tax deductible and sadaqah is zaria, which continues to benefit you when you pass away from this world. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your generosity and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you the highest reward to you and your family in this world and the hereafter.